Hi guys. All right, so we're still talking about explicit and implicit today, but instead we're going to be blending both of them together. So we're not just going to be reading a passage and only answering implicit questions or only answering explicit. There's going to be a blend of them. So I want you to make sure you're paying attention whenever you're reading a question today and really make sure is it asking for explicit, easy to find information, or is it asking me to find implicit information that's a little bit harder. I have to use my brain to really dig for it. So again, we've got our little boys. The explicit information is the easy to find information. They're boys. There's four of them. They're outside. Easy to find. The implicit information is what I got to think about a little bit more. So I have to look at their bodies. I have to look at the way they're moving, the way they're standing. And from that, I can tell you that they're dancing. I can go even deeper and say that they're doing the floss dance. They're flossing. And I can say that they're friends just by that they're standing close to each other. They're all boys they're around the same age. All the things that a lot of people um, have friends for. So the implicit, we dig deeper. Explicit is just what's obviously there. Next, we have our blueberries. So the explicit information is what is easy to find. Just by looking at this picture of blueberries, you can tell that they're blue. They're round and they're small. They're not very big. Easy to find information. Implicit information is what I have to get to dig down deeper. It's either something I have in my brain already or it's something that um, I can infer about, which is pretty much the same thing. So they're sweet. The only reason I know that is because either I have eaten a blueberry and I have that information still in my brain or somebody's eaten a blueberry and told me that and I remembered it and it's still in my brain. So I have to use my brain to find it. I can't just look at this picture and say that blueberries are sweet for all. I know they can be spicy. Can't tell from a picture. I also know they're juicing on the inside. Again, that's either because I've eaten them and I kept that information in my brain or somebody has told me about it and I still kept that information in my brain. And I also know that they're healthy. Same thing. I already I have that information in my brain or somebody gave me that information in my brain. But it's not something I can just tell from the picture. And then our visual example, Miss Acton's draw it, easy to find is milk. If someone goes to someone's house and say, hey, where's your milk? You're going to say the fridge. You're going to say the cold place because milk can't just hang out outside the refrigerator. It'll go bad. It'll spoil. So milk is always easy to find. So it's a great example of what explicit information is. And implicit, you got to dig a little bit deeper. So I use this picture with a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff going on, but you got to find the tiny little piece that's in your brain. You have to use your brain to really find it. And it's that little bitty square that's in that picture that you really had to focus and concentrate to be able to find it. But today what we're going to do is look at our tarantula passage again. We're going to pull out explicit information, that easy to find information. I'm going to show you how you dig deeper into that tiny bit of information to find the implicit information from it. It's kind of hiding in there. You have to use your brain to find it. So we know the central idea of this passage is that tarantulas are very good pets. And we know this gave us a bunch of reasons why tarantulas are good pets. So let's find an explicit information that supports that central idea that they're good pets. Guess what? I already did it for you. It says they only eat about once a week. That's explicit information. So what I'm going to do, just because I like adding the post-it notes. Oh no, I don't want that. Just because I like adding the post-it notes because it adds a little bit more color. Let's do some green. I know that my explicit, my easy to find because it's right there in the words. I didn't have to go searching for it. All I had to do was read that passage about the pet tarantulas and I found it. Easy peasy. They only need a small space to live. Kind of what it said. Oh, that's not even the one that we did. See, Ms. Acton's getting all of her information confused. So it's they only eat once a week. They only eat once a week. The word eat. They only eat once a <laughs> week. W-E-E-K, but a period at the end because that's what good writers do. Perfect. So there's my explicit information. Now, yesterday, I kind of gave you little hints on how you can find the implicit in that. So it says they only eat once a week. Once a week is pretty, you can't really dig much deeper. We know how much a week is, and we know what the one num we know what the number one, which is the same thing as once means. So you can't dig a little bit deeper. There's really nothing hiding there. There's not information that your brain needs to find. But when they say they eat 
that's information that you need to know. Because if I give a tarantula to a kindergartner and I say, hey, here's your pet tarantula. He only eats once a week. There's a good chance that that kindergartner might try to feed their tarantula potato chips. There's a good chance that that kindergartner might try to feed their tarantula a piece of birthday cake. Because some people just don't know. They don't have that background knowledge. They don't have that inferencing. They don't have that information in their brain to go find it, figure out, okay, that tarantula eats once a week, but it has to eat insects once a week. Probably crickets, cockroaches, um, any type of bugs. That's what my tarantula needs to eat. That's the implicit information. You have to infer or use your brain to find it. And sometimes not everybody has the same implicit information, and that's okay. But because we're pretty knowledgeable about spiders, we've been talking about them, you won't know that spiders can't just eat potato chips, pizza, broccoli. They eat bugs. And depending on how big or small they are, depends on how big of a bug that they eat and how small of a bug they eat. So with that little piece of information down there, the implicit information that we can find from they only eat once a week is that that meal that they eat once a week is that they eat, now I was going to say bugs, but I'm going to say insects because that makes me sound smarter, it's a scientific word. They eat insects. That's the implicit, the hidden information in the really, really easy to find explicit information. So really the implicit information shows you how smart you are. It really shows you how much knowledge you've got up in this brain. All right, so last thing I want to show you is your form that you're going to be doing today. So we're learning about more about spiders today, but just spiders in general, so not just tarantulas. So you're going to read this article about spiders and trying to find the central idea. So the central idea is used at the beginning of the passage, and it's what the entire passage is about. Ms. Jess taught you that last week. And then you're going to dig and find explicit and implicit. So make sure whenever you're reading these sentences, that when you answer, they you're really looking to see what the information is saying. Like, for example, this question is asking for the explicit information, so the easy to find information. But really, it should just be exactly the words that are right here. There's nothing that you have to go use your brain to find. And then some questions are going to ask you for the implicit information. That's where you need to go dig deeper into your brain and figure out what you know about spiders to dig deeper into that information. Use your brain to find it, okay? to go through and answer some of those questions about implicit and explicit information that supports the central idea. And then you are done for the day. Remember, if you have any questions, contact your teachers. Have fun. See you guys.